giving all praise and uh, glory unto you, how Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Kakadash, the Allah and the Apostles, Elders and Brothers, on down at Great Millstone, where I learned the street from. And salutations to the whole field. Like this is your brother Rai Banyamia here to share another video. Another lesson. Before I get a title, I want to um, read two scriptures. First one in Proverbs 14 and 27. It says, The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Second one, John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. The title of this, uh, this video, this lesson is called Sins of Convenience is a Snare. You know, so beware. Um, before I go into uh, anything further, I want to give um, the definition of a few words. The first one is uh, convenience, right? Convenience is a um, personal comfort or advantage, freedom from discomfort or trouble. Um, second word, snare, something that lures or entangles the unwary. What does it mean to be unwary? It means I'm um, not alert to deception or danger, you know, unguarded. All right, so hopefully you, you remember this, those uh, two words, those two definitions for the scriptures I'm about to uh, um, bring in now. Um, you know, sins of convenience, you know. The times that we are about to come into, we will have to make um, quick spit fire decisions. And the the way we move now is going to dictate, you know, how we make those um, quick fire decisions in the days, weeks, and months ahead, you know. Um, we want to have the, the Holy Spirit upon us. So this way, when we do have to make those quick decisions, um, that the Holy Spirit is already dwelling in us. So we would make, you know, righteous decisions, whereas... You know, instead of making a fearful, fearful judgment, um, decision making in times of, um, you know, great stress and calamity, you know, causing us to go off and causing us to sin because of um, convenience sake, you know, whether it be um, lying, um, betraying one another, you know, just so that you wouldn't feel the, the heat. Or you would escape certain um, calamities for a moment. We don't want these things. We don't want to make these decisions in life. Because, you know, as the Lord say, you know, sin upon sin is iniquity. And iniquity, we, sin when it is done, it brings forth death. You know, we don't want that to happen. We want to escape these things. <clears throat> so, we want to make sure that we make the decisions to accept, you know, the Lord right now. To keep his law commandments and statutes. And in fear, so that when these decisions may can come upon us, you know, the Lord, you know, He got us, you know, He would um, answer on stuff for us rather than be making quick decisions that would get us into further trouble. Because we already know the flesh, it wants to be comforted and it wants to live, it wants it, it doesn't want any uh, comfort, right? So we want to have the Holy Spirit upon us in, um, in these times. So that we may escape these things. So I just want to read. Um, I'll be staying in the same book, but I want to read two. Um, two sides, two different stories. One of um temptation, and one pretty much of denial, because um, these are the things that we will be, um, facing among other, um, snares that will be coming our way, right? And how to handle it. All right. So um. I want to go to this app, the Bible app. I want to hit Matthew. I'll be staying in Matthew. The first one, Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. And I'll be reading to 11. This should be familiar to a lot of people. It says, Then was uh, Yahweh Shai led her by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward unhungered. And 
When the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands shall and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Yahweh unto him, Get hence thee, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written that thou, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leave, leave at him, and behold, the angels came and ministered unto him. So, you see, in the situation, there were um, snares of, um, you know, temptation. One, because he was hungry, thirsty, and the other, to show him, um, you know, power, rulership, you know. But we, we all know our Lord couldn't sin. But, the you know, these were snares set before him. And these would be similar snares that would be set before us in these um, coming last days, you know. But he had faith in his father, Yahweh, and we should have faith also in him, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, as he had faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, right, to escape these things. And we must fear him also. We must remember um, the law commandments and statutes, you know, fear him. And in that fear, it would grow. Um, faith, you know, so we wouldn't sin upon sin. We wouldn't fall into the sins of convenience to get out of um, uncomfortable situations, right? Um, last example I want to make is in the same book, Matthew 26 and 69. So we're reading just a few verses. It'll be short from 69 to verse 69 to 75 it says now peter sat without in the palace and the damsel came unto him saying thou also was with yahweh shai of galilee but he denied before them all saying i know not what thou sayest and when he had gone out into the porch another maid saw him and said unto him and said unto them that were there this fellow was also with Yahweh Shah Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech bereared thee. Then again he to curse, then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man, and immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Yahweh Shai, which said unto him, Before the cock crew, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept um, bitterly. So that was a spirit of um, conviction upon him for denying our Lord. You know, so because he wanted he wanted to escape possible um, ridicule and persecution, he denied that he knew our Lord. Those were those denials were sin upon sin and a snare. The sins those were sins of convenience, right? Which is a snare unto man. You know the persecution upon um, us Israelites. You know is coming. Um. Now, obviously, you know you use wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Um. In each situation, but we have to do so without sinning. Right, without going off and trusting in our Lord to give us um, speech 
in these um, moments when we are asked, were you not the one standing on this corner or on that corner? I uh, really know the Bible teaching this or teaching that. You know, we have to use uh, wisdom. So we have to pray that when those quick fire decisions um, come upon us, that the Holy Spirit would be upon us in those moments to speak on our behalf. You know, because we may we may not know exactly what to say. So we have to pray and ask the Lord for the Holy Spirit, you know, to step in on our behalf. So the things that we do know will dictate whether the Holy Spirit will be on us in those moments or not, in, in times of denial, in times of temptation, you know, where we are not lying and um, betraying one another, All right? So I just wanted to give those two examples, two extreme examples, um, and there may be others that I have not listed here, other snares that may be put in our place um, to get us to sin, right? And for the Lord to bring judgment upon us. So again, so last um, scripture I read, right? Again, in our Proverbs 14 and 27 says, The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life, and to depart from the snares of death. Remember what I said about the word convenience. Convenience is personal comfort or advantage, freedom from trouble or discomfort. And the word snare is something that lures or entangles the unwary. But it means to be unwary, not alert to deception or danger to be unguarded. And we want to be guarded in these times uh, to come. Right, so we need to avoid the sins of convenience because the sins of convenience is your snare. So beware. I hope we all were edified. Shalom.